Hi there, this is Paul from the Newsboys, and I have a sheet of questions in front of me from, I guess, a lot of you guys. All right, how often must Peter shave his head to retain maximum machine? This is from Tim. Tim, good question. Well, Peter's all about maximum machine in every area of his life. Uh, he's about streamlining, he's about um, good looks, he's about moving quickly. Uh, from one point to the next on the stage and as a result he has to have maximum machine but also at various points the lights are coming down from various places and they hit his head so um, it's quite insightful really and the answer is how often must he shave his head every day how often does he shave his head it depends on the shows uh, at the moment that's four or five a week so I think you can put the math together Tim the answer to your question is about five times a week. This next one is from Kelly. Kelly, what happened to the guy with the long blonde hair? Is he still in the group? Well, you're referring to Phil Joel. Uh, what happened to him? Uh, he left the band. He left the band in December of last year. That would be 2006. So the answer to the second part of the question is, is he still in the group? And the answer would be no, he's not. Because of the first part of the question, what happened to him was he left. So I thought, you know, you probably realise that even though that's two questions, the one sort of answered the other. And he's now doing a solo thing. And you can go to his website, which is deliberatepeople.com. Let's move on to Karen. Kazza, as we would say in Australia, we like to shorten everything. When you went to the White House, did you stick any chewing gum under the furniture? Karen. Good question. No. The answer is no. All right, next question. No. Karen, I'll give you a bit more. Um, went to the White House and met quite a few of the staff. Um, the president was not there. His wife was not there, but all their staff were, and they came to the gig that night in Baltimore. And believe me, the only people at that gig in ties that were rocking were the staff from the White House. What is the most important thing we as Christians can do to change our world for the kingdom? Sharon. The other guys were talking about maximum machine and blonde hair and chewing gum. You've just, so far, Sharon is the, the overachiever question asker in a good way. Okay, Jesus already answered that. Matthew 22, 37 to 40 says, um, someone said, what's the most important thing? Jesus said, love God with everything you have, your heart, soul, your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. On this, all the law and the prophets are built. So the answer is what's the most important thing we can do? is love God and love others. What's one artist song genre you don't usually admit you enjoy? I have to say, I really was fixated with the song Stop um, by the Spice Girls because there was these real movies with it. Stop right now, thank you very much. I need somebody with a human touch. I couldn't get that song out of my head forever. What's an instrument you don't play but might like to? Drums. Although, when you're a guitarist or a singer, you like to be on the drums for a few minutes, but really it's it's not. You can't move around, you can't go Wah! on the drums. Just so it's good, but it's like you're stuck at the back. You can't really be a rock star on the drums. And that, my friends, are the answers to the questions.